Victor here, and today we got all sorts of stuff going on. My good buddy, Stanley Crayson, is in town from the Navy. I have not fished with this kid in a very long time, my childhood friend, and we actually rolled up to the beach. Our good friend, no name Sharker, invited us, and they're actually hooked up, so we're gonna go help lead other fish right now. I need to walk you a little bit, Jacob. Nice work, man. Thank you, man. You guys on? Oh, man. You want harness, bro? Yeah, let me get a Is this the one that Jake, didn't Jake just paddle this out? Go, go. Yeah, he literally just got it out. So Jake just paddled this bait out. This is his rod and his buddy took over. They're already tight. This is insane. How many sharks you guys up to today? This is number four That's right here. Four we right lost here. two other. Ones. When I came up to the beach, you were just landing yep. your hammer. Yep. Oh, Jake's hooked up up there. Oh, got me. Jake's hooked up right there. Let me show you guys this nurse shark over here. So they just landed. Release the beast. There it goes. Hey man, it's a shark. It's a shark. It's not the one you wanted, but it's a shark, right? Yeah. You guys, Jake just pulled hook. That was a nice fish though. That was a real nice fish. Oh, good, man. You think it was too much drag? Could have been. I mean, everybody says light of wood to him, but look at this. Can't even pull on it. Yeah, you're, you're fishing 40 plus pounds of drag. So, Jacob just lost a shark, a really nice one. It was peeling line, did not stop. Me and Mitch still have our rods out. And then we also landed a nurse shark. Oh. 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 Mitchell, oh, how many sharks have they hooked since we've been here? Three. Three? Yeah, plus they landed one. And we've had how many runs? Oh, one of them was a little sandbag. Zero. We had zero. Yeah, our rods are untouched. I, I got a gummy. Oh, yeah, you got a gummy. I can't forget about that. Look at this, guys. This is the size of the baits that Jacob's been using. Slain monsters out here. That small. That's Long a size. Hook. Looks like you got a little sun today. Just yeah, a little bit. Yeah, the past three days. We ain't been able to keep baiting the water. I see. I have. <laughs> yeah. We have. So you guys think it's a tiger? I don't know. I tiger or big bull? Mitch, did you see it? I just saw a shadow. That's all. Tiger or big bull? That's, that's my guess. Rig. No, you missed his shadow. His shadow is massive. Where's that? Look at it right there. It's pretty good. It's pretty like a tiger. So guys, we see the shadow and it's a very big fish. We're thinking a big ham right or there, a, a big bull shark or a uh, tiger. Oh, hammer. Oh, yeah, I got a video of its fin coming up. Oh, yeah. Breaking. You know what I bought for? Oh. Hell, yeah, man. Good job. Good Thank job. You swim off strong. Yeah, that's the most important part. Jacob, you are the man. If you guys aren't willing to get neck deep with a fish like he did, you guys shouldn't be doing this sport. That's that's ballsy, that's good. Amen, bro. You know, Jacob really cares about the fish and they're very good at getting them in and out of the water real fast. And he got his bait back. Look at that stingray trailing. Guys, this is unreal. Jacob is on again. On a big fish. Big fish. <laughs> That's an animal. That's a big animal. Oh my god. Wow. Alright guys, we're getting real close. It's about 50, 60 yards off the beach. Jacob's getting the tail rope ready. You guys, bit. Stanley's filming it with the drone and he says it's not a hammer. We thought it was a hammer this whole time. It looks like a big tiger. It's a big tiger. Big tiger with a cobe on it? it had a... He says it had a cobe on it, which is, that's, they do swim with tigers. That should be, nuts. that's crazy. Look at this. It's a big cobe? Yes, bro, it is such a big cobe. 
probably like a 50 pound cobe. We saw a cobe on the shark. I'm gonna go out there and try to get it with this jig right here. Let's get it. You wanna go? Let's go. One person can paddle. We're sinking on the mission to get the cobe on the jig off of the shark with two people on the kayak. This is... How you feeling, Mitch? This is about the sketchiest thing I've ever done. Yeah, because if the shark, you know... Oh yeah, we're, we're sinking. taking on water. We're sinking. Dang it. Out. Oh, I see it. It's out there. Look into my rod tip. wonder if the cobe's still on it. I don't know. I don't think so. Nice tiger. Monster, dude. Oh, monster. Number four for you, Jake? Ooh. Number four. Yeah. Good shit, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job. Check it out guys. It is around 2.30, 3 o'clock. There have been four hammerheads landed, none of which by me, Mitchell, or Stanley. But I mean, it's, it's always cool just shark fishing and seeing other people catch stuff. You can't beat it. Just being part of the whole experience. And um, Stanley's actually, he just couldn't resist. He had to get in on the action. So he's paddling out. My old 14 0 right there. There he is out there way in the kayak into that blue water and you know we're we're hoping but my buddy no name Jacob and James and Austin they all have their rods set up to the south of us and every single time their rods have gone off it's always been chronological or order from the rod furthest south so our guess is sharks are swimming from south to north the only time my rods gotten hit is when their rods haven't been in the water so I'm guessing that they're all these sharks are just getting to their rods first which I think is what's happening what we got Vic it's on Fish on. Game time. Don't let it end like this, Vic. Woo! Come on, come back, come back, come back, come such back. That was a good run, it's and now slack. it's not he gonna come in. Huh? He might have came in. Oh, it's on, it's on, it's on. Are you on, yeah, baby? It's on. Lay in the wood! Set that hook! Set it, dude, set it good. Set it good, Vic. Fish oh. on! We're on, Jacob. Yeah, you're good. Oh, that just pulled for sure. Get it? Yeah. I don't get it. He it pulled. Just, it it definitely just, pulled. Just swimming in. Because it was just swimming in and you just rip it out of their mouths. They got to be going against you. That's the whole yeah. problem with it. Go up. Yellow. Yellow. He's old. That's a real one. Yeah, Nobody coming, boy. Jacob's getting it's a little hammerhead, he thinks. Have the hammy. Woo! You got it. Thanks, Grant. No name on fire! <laughs> You the man. Yeah, thank you. You the man. Send me some pictures. I will. Hammer number two or three for you today. That's three. Three hammerheads in yes, one day. Sir. I'd say that's pretty good. Appreciate the help. No problem. That is why. You guys see how he got that in so fast and how it was so green and lively? Because you fight him on a lot of drag, don't you? Yes, sir. And that's the way you got to do it. And he swam all strong. Yeah, he did. What's going on? Awesome. I'd say she's on. I'd say she's on. Set it. Set it, Mitch. You on. Okay, we need harness, harness, harness. Sorry. Just hold this real quick and just point it at yeah. it. Sorry. Just let me step in it. Let me step in it. Look at the bend. Just buckle me. Oh. You good? Yeah. This guy's on the I don't think it hasn't woke up yet. Oh no. Oh dude. That, 
Mitchell, finally you know hooked some up, tough bitch. Like, Finally, tough dude. Luck. Dude, you want to talk about School of Hard Knocks. And these guys are hooking up left and right. We have watched them catch not so one, not fish. two, not three, not four, but five hammerheads and, and a tiger shark in our face. And Mitchell is finally Someone. hooked up. I just saw a hammer and I was If you do anything while watching this video, I want you guys to go find my buddy, No Name Sharker, on Instagram because this guy absolutely kills it. He is the real deal. He puts in more work than anyone I know, and he has the numbers to, sh to, to show it. I mean, this guy, you're, I'm talking double digit hammers, tigers, bull sharks, lemons, everything, all year long. And he put us on the sauce today. Yeah, he did. Number seven here today. You guys, I, me and Stanley were just talking about it. This is so unbelievable, unreal. I mean, this is gonna be the sixth hammerhead. If you get one in a night, you go home happy or ecstatic, you know? You get two, it's like, all right, we kicked some ass, but six is just, yeah. Like, you, you almost don't believe it, you know yeah. what I mean? You catch another one, you're like, oh, it's another hammer. But yeah. you don't even appreciate it because you've got so many. You've seen them all hit the beach. It's like, wow. And the fact we're catching them during the middle of the day is another thing. It's usually you got, you know, a sunset bite or a morning bite, yeah. and then they bite into the night. But during the middle of the day, it's not even prime time yet. So Vic, you ought to tell them that. pretty crazy. The biggest thing to remember about fishing in the day is, I mean, if you're fishing on a crowded beach and it's guarded, it's really not the best thing. If you're on an unguarded beach, there's not a lot of people, then be safe, release your sharks fast, you know, just mind your own business and clean up after yourself and you should be fine. About to hit the sand. Yeah, I'm on low gear. Really? It's got teeth, huh? This ain't no best, Stanley! Still a large mouth. Okay, one. They're scared. Tell them, guys. <laughs> You got your hook back this time. You actually got it. Good job, Mitch. All right, guys. So I decided I'm going to make this into two videos. So this will be the ending to day one, even though it's one day and all. But there's just way too, mac way too much action to make it into one video. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was honestly historical for us. We've never, ever, ever seen it like this. And we got a good crew out here. We got Brian, Austin, Mitchell, Stanley. My good friend from the Navy and uh, Jacob and everyone down there and it was just an epic day. So hope you guys like this one and stay tuned for the next one.